Hello, my celestial kings, queens, and beings. This is Mystic Storm here to clear the path to a new life with you. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. It is Friday, and I'm just so thankful. <laughs> we are in uh, the Cancer Moon. It does go void, of course, until it reaches to Leo. And yeah, we're still in this wanting phase. We are approaching the Virgo new moon on Monday. And yeah, we can start working with this energy this weekend. Okay. So by now you should have like purged out and did all your banishing work and did what you had to do. Really try to release or bring attention then to release and surrender that in order for you to now begin to focus on what it is you're really trying to accomplish um, this coming cycle, okay? This moon cycle. And <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords. And if you didn't uh, catch yesterday's Daily Spirit message, I would invite you to check that out. At the end, I said, let death happen. And here's death. Ten of Swords. Surrendering everything, every hurt, every pain, every criticism, every, every self-doubt and self-loathing and self lack of self-confidence, all of that is being severed. It's to let us, let the ego die. And be reborn again into something higher. This is to raise our frequency. In order for us to transform. It's two wolves now. Shape shifting. Being, being able to connect. Being able to endure. Being able to be strong in this. These lessons didn't kill you. It did shake you up. But it's here to ground you. It's here to release you. In this life, we deal with so much. And sometimes we feel like we can't do all that is asked of us. And that's where boundaries come in. That's where knowing yourself comes in. Paying attention to your body, paying attention to your mind and body. These jobs will use you and suck you from everything you have. People will use you for everything you got. And what are you left with? What are you left with? If you are left depleted, if you are left drained, if you are left sucked dry, if you're left ba backstabbed and bleeding out on the floor, then once you gain back your energy, how are you going to protect it differently? How are you going to move differently? How are you going to be more elevated to look at life at a bird's eye view rather than be controlled by it? Being more reactive by it. We all go through our struggles. We all go through our obstacles. And know that this isn't the end of the obstacles that you have to endure in life. But remember the tools that you've gathered. Remember the wisdom you have gained.
and remember to protect yourself better when you restart. There's some lessons that still have to be learned and the cycle continues for a certain area of your life. So when you restart the game, <laughs> when you restart the game, you still have the memory. Okay? We're not talking about uh, reincarnation where you forget. We're talking about cycles of life. So when you restart the game, you still have your memory and you're able to better get through those obstacles to win that level. Okay? So I hope you all take this and plan ahead to restart the game and win. You deserve it. I love you all and I will catch you in the next one.